One thing in particular I've enjoyed doing during my time playing Brawl Stars is making bizarre accounts, cursed accounts. Now the traditional way to make cursed accounts is pretty much so ruined at this point since two updates ago when they removed boxes. But you guys know your boy Ray, I've been doing my research trying to figure out the next best thing when it comes to strange and bizarre cursed accounts and I think I've got something pretty special here. Now we need a little context here before we get into my newest creation and that has everything to do with a video we made over two months ago. I did something pretty stupid in Brawl Stars where we spent over 14,000 gems buying every single brawler in this game with gems. Now I told you all in that video I wanted to keep the account's identity a secret for a future project. Well, that future project is going to be revealed today. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you all Ray Fame, an account I'm assuming is unlike anything else out there aside from bots that people have been seeing with crazy fame levels. But the whole premise of this cursed account, as the name implies, is I am currently level one. Not a single trophy acquired on this account, not a single game played, and I'm sitting here at global fame number two. And today we are going to be getting to Lunar One, a higher fame rank than my main account. <laughs> In order to do that, we need some gems. Make sure to use code Ray people. There we go. Some gems are gonna fly. Hey guys, I've been playing as a free to play player a little bit too long. Gemma Ray has been locked away in his cage and he's feeling antsy. We need to balance the scales here a little bit. Now, to be completely honest, this account is actually not impressive whatsoever. The only reason we have this rank here is because we spent a copious amount of gems. And the only way we can keep the status of this account the way that it is, is literally get credits and chroma credits credits by gemming. And the only place to get credits and chroma credits at this time is the Burl Pass. So it's time to let it rip. Now, normally I would just speed through this process here, but I want to take the time to explain what I'm going to be doing in the future on this account. The whole gimmick of this account beforehand was I wanted it to be an experience level one account that had a crazy fame rank or lunar rank. But seeing that since this last update change, I don't think your actual level in game is advertised as heavily. And let's be honest, no one really even looks at levels here in the first place. So I have found some ways where I can go about progressing this account a little bit faster than what I'm doing right now, but I'll have to drop the level one status here. And the gimmick moving forward will be that this account has zero trophies. A zero trophy, absolutely insane fame rank here in Brawl Stars. I think it's going to be really, really fun. I've seen a lot of people not even that crazy about the fame ranks or the global fame. People saying that fame is just a waste of their hard earned credits when they have every brawler unlocked in this game, which I completely understand. But that's kind of the joy of this cursed account. That's kind of what makes this account cursed. We are literally investing everything into this account in order to get more fame, a thing that not a whole lot of people are super fond of. And I just want to be able to say to everyone that I have have another cursed account in my possession. It's kind of the fun of cursed accounts. It's almost like a trophy that you keep. That's literally the reason why I've done all the cursed accounts in the past. They're just cool to collect and have fun with. I've always been super fun of things like this inside of Brawl Stars and just kind of in any games. How do I make something strange and bizarre and be a little bit different? You know, go against the grain a little bit, be a little bit quirky. There it is, everyone. We have every single credit that we can collect here at the minute on the pass. We have a ton of other things that we can collect over time, such as RT here, but I'm not going to be collecting RT at this time. There's a few different things that I've been trying to test out here on this account in order to get more credits. One thing that I noticed is if you have every single brawler unlocked, at least the brawlers that take credits to unlock them, not chroma credits, you can't get some of the crazy credit offers that we've seen pop up in the shop in the past. Now, I have no idea if we'll ever ever get chroma credit offers, much like for the regular credits here popping up in the shop. But in order for that potential for those to pop up in my shop, I can't have every chromatic brawler in this game. So I'm not going to collect RT here. And same goes for when Willow comes out. I'm not going to unlock her until there are some really good credit offers in the shop and try to maximize the rollover credits to my fame ring. It's kind of an interesting account to kind of tiptoe around 
around what are the best methods and things that we can do here to progress our fame rank, the only thing that I want to progress with on this account. On top of that, really the only other things that we can do to get more fame is number one, of course, wait for brand new Brawl Passes to come out. Number two, collecting tokens from the Brawl Stars eSports events that pop up from time to time with the monthly finals. They offer Brawl Pass tokens on them, which doesn't amount to a whole lot, seeing that we need 500 tokens for every bonus reward tier, which only offers a minuscule 25 credits. And now with the restructuring of this account that I would like to do here, keeping my account at zero trophies, believe it or not, you are allowed the map maker maps here. If someone invites you to their lobby, it's unique compared to any of the other trophy based events here in this game, where if you physically don't have any of these game modes unlocked, even if you have a friend that invites you to their lobby that has that unlocked, you can't play with them. But you can with the map maker maps, which is literally the only slot that I can actually play on this account if I'm keeping my account at zero trophies here, which definitely opens up a ton of doors here. If we play in the map maker maps and actually win, we can get XP from it, which there's some pretty dang crazy token rewards that can help us progress through these extra bonus rewards along the Brawl Pass season. And you guys all already know I am prepared for when that actually happens. I'm going to wait for a token doubler event that just comes around in Brawl Stars sometimes, and I have these token doublers on top of that. It'd be really cool if you guys would let me know if you actually want me to make that change here. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video, unveiling it, introducing the interesting account to all of you guys, and pretty much so document probably the only video on this account while we have these stats in place. And by all means, make sure to leave some some tips if there's some avenues in this game that I haven't explored yet where I could progress my fame rank without gaining trophies in different ways. But there's only one thing left for us to do here, ladies and gentlemen. We can purchase this additional plus 200 fame with our chroma credits five separate times. Let's freaking go, you guys. All right, number one, a. Not bad. This should get us to Lunar 1, which is so dang crazy, man. Okay, let's go. Is that going to be enough? Yes, it is. Come on, you guys. Are you kidding me? Again, it's not all that crazy impressive seeing that all of these things that we can get here are literally because we're just spending gems, right? But I find it super cool. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I have nothing on this account. It looks like my account is a bot account, which I'm not. But the next goal, of course, is to get to 9,600 this red rank here by any means possible. And I forgot to mention, we can also get five tokens every single day. <laughs> Only gotta wait 100 days for that next tier for 25 credit, baby. <laughs> but yeah, everyone, definitely a little bit more of a chill episode here on the channel. I wanted to let you all know of this account existence, at least. While on top of that, maybe get some feedback for you guys on particular strategies I can do on this account. And just let you guys know that other interesting cursed accounts are on the horizon that I'm very much so looking forward to. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to slap the like on it. I'd really appreciate that. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep having fun with Brawl Stars, and we'll see you all in the next one. Adios, and take care. Whew.